was able to, you know, um, eke out a living over time you know, that way. Very cool. Uh, what are some of your more recent films that you've worked on? Uh, the the I've I did I've done two independent features. Um, one was called Hand Game. Uh, the uh, it's right here. Hand Game, the native uh, North American game of power and chance. Dee dee dee. Uh, go ahead, and uh, I'm going to give you uh, that to you. And uh, it's uh, I, I got uh, I did some work with some Native American tribes, um, and uh, I got fascinated with this game when I saw it at, at uh, Warm Springs during the powwow. It's played all over the West, and it's. Um, it's called stick game in some places, bone game in other places. Uh, it's basically a guessing game in which two teams are pitted against each other trying to guess um, which hand uh, the opposing side has is hiding the bones. Um, and um, uh, that sounds simple, and it is simple, simple game, um, but the culture around it is extraordinary, and it goes back to beginnings of time uh, and um, so it's a fascinating subject and you know, I wound up spending seven years on it uh, got a National Endowment of the Arts grant uh, got you know um, was filmed around seven um, reservations or states one or the other and um, it um, you know it's done pretty well it's still selling after 15 years People are still interested in it and buying it, and that's awesome. It's the only film about this subject of any note. Uh, and then uh, I made a recently. I made a film called Stuff, which is about my dad's death, and about all the stuff that he had when he died, and um, and um, and how I sort of related through relating to him through his stuff, and through the changes that I was going through at that time. Uh, with my stuff and my shit, you know, and, and my and the stuff that I was going through in my life. Uh, so stuff, you know, is a metaphor for a lot of stuff. And uh, and then um, so that 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 became a feature film, which uh, won uh, some awards and played at the Florida Film Festival, a few other film festivals around. Uh, it didn't really take off. Um, there were there was. There's a lot of feature documentaries that are coming out every year now, and there's a lot of uh, competition to get into film festivals. I got in about six, uh, which was pretty good for me as an unknown, but uh, um, you know, I wish it could have been done better on the market. Um, right now it's just on Amazon, just sitting there with thousands and thousands of other you know, uh, videos. I mean, apparently they get like 800 new videos a day or something Man. incredible on Amazon, you know, so you're, you're, you know, the chances you, you, you get, you finding an audience on Amazon is just, are, are just mi minimal. So, um, so anyway, that's, that was the, um, uh, second feature that I, that I did. Uh, and I've also been doing a lot of experimental films, short experimental narrative films. And now I'm adding animation into that that um, sort of thing. So is this the, the first time that you're reintroducing animation to your film? Stuff a... was the first time. I, I uh, For stuff, I had to have a way of telling my uh, past childhood memories and, and my dreams, some of the dreams that I, I wanted to interpret in, my, in the work. So I chose to do animation uh, based on a style that I picked up uh, in art school uh, working with a brush uh, and, and, su and sumi ink. And, uh, and uh, so, I, um, so I developed a little style working with a friend, uh, Zach Margolis, who's, a, who's an animator, extraordinary animator, uh, and uh, who uh, sort of nurtured me a little bit. And I took basically the, the knowledge that I gained when I was a teenager uh, and started from that and then picked it up, you know, many years later and used the same set of understandings and then I, uh, I developed it from there with the modern tools of uh, Photoshop and, uh, 
and After Effects, but um, but I uh, still it's still 2D drawn animation, you know, and uh, and it's kind of crude and, and um, graphic, you know, looking. So uh, that was pretty successful. People like the animation um, in in stuff. So I uh, then a guy um, Jason Edwards with New Crackle um, Sound. Uh, is producing um, some programming uh, uh, for Smash the Hive, uh, smashthehive.com if you're interested. And um, it, it um, we're doing a series called My American Wasteland, which is a, a series of short cartoons about our obsession uh, with our body image, weight and, and athleticism and and uh, or skinniness or whatever we we did one on anorexia we've done one on on sort of weight gain through just sedentary jobs we've done another one on uh, uh, on called lipo baby which is about a, ba a mother doctor selling liposuction to uh, the mother of, uh, to, to for their baby and so they're just these really out there bizarre cartoons wow. so I'm doing all the animation for those very cool yeah just started we're just getting ready to, to launch our third one uh, in that so uh, smash the hive.com my American wasteland is what is where you find us awesome mm -hmm. and then you said you had one more film that you were working on yeah I'm working on a film called ghost money ghost money uh, and it involves that um, time when I was in the uh, military uh, I did go to Vietnam 1972, uh, but uh, but I, I wound up uh, as an entertainment specialist, and that's a whole story in itself. <laughs> uh, and um, I uh, so I was in Saigon, um, living the life of Riley. I mean, it was uh, just about uh, you know, pot and and women and fun and and uh, and it was a different side of the war then you know you hear about I wasn't on the front line or anything so um, I had a really weird experience there and I had uh, I had a girlfriend there for many months and a very big relationship and she was uh, um, an interesting uh, woman and so I decided to tell this story in film and and then so I went back to Vietnam I wound up getting the RACS uh, Individual Artist Fellowship. Uh, they give out one a year, and uh, I got I got that one, and that, that was enough money to take me back to Vietnam with a cameraman and and uh, spend three weeks looking for Candy. Uh, her name was Candy, and uh, uh, so I haven't found her yet. Uh, but my life has gone on a huge, strange arc since then. So this film is another personal documentary about um, my uh, relationship with Candy and trying to find her and what happened since then. Very cool. Yeah. Where does the, the title Ghost Money come from? Uh, the Buddhists in China, Vietnam, and Southeast Asia and around, they uh, burn a votive paper, they call it uh, uh, money. Uh, it looks like money in some cases. It looks like other things, cars, whatever. It's all made out of paper, and they burn it in order to raise it up to their ancestors who are in the afterlife. And so they feel that the afterlife is just a reflection of, of this life, or maybe the other way around. Um, uh, they have, there's a, in, in Vietnam, um, and probably in those other countries too, the supernatural world is uh, is real, you know, and um, and so when every house has an altar that's set up to their to their ancestors, and they're they're obligated to uh, take care of their elders and their ancestors even after they've passed away. So they do that by putting food out, by 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 burning incense, by burning ghost money, um, and um, it's. It's uh, it's called hell money in, in some places, uh, translated various ways, but um, I call it ghost money because it's something that you you offer 
to those that are in the past. And, um, and we look at it that way as, as something um, that's, that's past. And so it's something that we're honoring uh, those who have passed and those who have died in the war and those who are still suffering from the effects of the war. Um, where do you hope to go with filmmaking in the future? Do you have aspirations or? Well, I just <coughs> hope to just keep making movies. Um, you know, making movies is getting harder and harder. Uh, when I first started out, uh, you know, there weren't the numbers there are now. Now that mm -hmm. there are thousands of features made every, every year, it's getting more and more difficult to get recognition. Um, I have uh, achieved some uh, recognition here in this state of Oregon and uh, in the Portland area. I'm happy with that. It's not about recognition. I just want to make sure I can keep making movies. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I would like to try my hand at a narrative film again. Um, I've done some sh narrative shorts and I've worked with actors. I love working with actors. I, I love uh, out of, uh, you know, creating a story out of um, the material that actors can can provide and um, and then so I'd like to do that um, and you know I've done some writing uh, and gotten some scripts prepared and had some disappointments in that area where I wasn't able to produce the, the features that I wanted to but um, you know uh, with Ghost Money I think uh, uh, it's a hybrid documentary that that is going to be pretty exceptional I hope that goes somewhere and and maybe that will open some doors for me but um, otherwise, uh, I'm just going to be making films about little things, just sort of experimental films, and uh, and you know, um, and I, that would that would be an area that I, I think I could uh, do pretty well at, and that would be uh, the fine art. Um, I hate to call it experimental film because you know. Um, the people that are calling their films experimental films <coughs> are doing stuff that was done 50, 60, 100 years ago, you know, by some filmmakers. They're not doing anything new, really. They're just recycling old ideas mm -hmm. <coughs> that are forgotten and sort of uh, plowed under and, and then resurfaced. Uh, but uh, there was a new resurgence in experimental film in the uh, early, uh, in the late 60s and in the, in the 70s and uh, <coughs> most everything you can imagine to do with film was done during those in those films and um, you know they broke the narrative into pieces they they scratched on film they they uh, you know took pictures of people's assholes I mean you know everything that you can imagine being done on film is was done 